Hey, Film Sensei here. Today in this video, we're going to talk about how to use the letterbox effect. All right, so I have a couple of pieces of footage here that I'm going to use. The first one is a piece of raw footage from my Star Trek transporter video skit, okay? And basically, it's just establishing shots. So it kind of pans over, and there I'm eating in the cafe. So what you do is you drop that onto your timeline, then you search for the letterbox effects. It's under generate, and you just drag it right on there. And there's your letterbox, right? It looks pretty good. And this works really, really well. As long as you've filmed it properly and you have everything lined up in the middle and everything looks good. Now you can adjust these things. The aspect ratio is set at 2.35 to 1. But you can make it 16 by 9 or you can make it old school, 4 by 3, right? But obviously most of the time you're going to go 2.35 to 1. The bars are uh, standard default set to black, but you can make them any color you like, you know. So if, if you yeah, go right ahead if you want to. I wouldn't recommend it, but, you know, hey, if you like that, uh, go right ahead. I would I would probably stick with black. So, so that's basically it. Now, what happens, though, if you have a piece of footage like this one where I messed up a little bit and I filmed it incorrectly? So you can see that I pointed my camera at this bottle here and then... I didn't realize, but I was sort of barely on the edge of being in this shot, okay? And so because of that, um, you know, if you just drop the letterbox right on it, you know, then I cut off, you know, and that's just not going to work, you see? So how can I slide that around? Well, if you just grab this and start moving it, it doesn't work. And there's no, uh, you know, option in here to slide the picture around on the inside. So how are you going to do that? Well... It's actually pretty easy, but you need to do a little bit of a, of a trick to it. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click on it, and I'm going to make it into a composite shot. You can also use Control-M. And then what you do is you create a new layer. It's a plain layer. Make sure that it's white, and you can call it LB for letterbox or whatever you want, and then drop your letterbox on top of that. Ah, it looks great. Adds the black bars to the white plane, and all you have is this big white thing in the middle. So how are you going to make that see-through? It's easy. You just change the blend mode to darken. So it darkens the white part. And now if you grab the footage, then you can slide it around anywhere that you want inside there. So now if I just kind of slide this down to the very edge of it like that, then when I go back out to the editor, you can tell... Right. By looking at the edge of this letterbox that it does not change. Right. It does not change and it doesn't change down here either. And so it's consistent, looks good, that kind of a thing. And I got the exact part of my footage that I wanted inside of these letterbox bars. So pretty much that's it in a nutshell. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please feel free to do so. Otherwise, thanks for watching.